It's time to wall up or shut up. Hey guys, me, your host, Superstar. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. Some Fortnite goodies. So guys, I have a bunch of Fortnite stuff here to review. I'm going to do all of them in this big video. We have two of the brand new Jazzwares figures. This is the Fortnite Drift Jazzware figure. Six, uh, five inch figure. Well, five three quarter inch and then about just short six inch. And then we've got the Scavenger X Lord as well. And then over on the McFarlane side, we also have the shopping cart pack. I've been trying to get this for a while. I managed to find it on offer with um, Amazon, so this were a good set. This was just £20 uh, to get on Amazon, so go on there and grab it right now. And these were both from... Where did I get these bad boys from? Oh, Smith's. Smith's Toys. These were just, uh, and these were just £20 each. Brand new figures. I've been after Drift for a long time because Drift, you guys know, is my favourite character. I've, I've done a review of Drift in every style now. I've done the McFarlane's, I'm now doing the Jazzwares. I've done the, the smaller version of the Jazzwares. I've done the um, tiny, tiny, tiny Jazzware little miniature ones. And I've also done the 12 inch talking one. And I've also done the Titan Hero series, series style. So this is literally the last one I've got to review. So, I'm going to do this one first. Let's break it out of the box. Where's my scissors gone? There they are. Scissors! Have you guys been enjoying the reviews when I do multiple reviews in one video? I hope so, because I've been enjoying making them. It's been a lot more fun. It's been a lot more of an adventurous video. The, rather than reviewing everything singly. Plus, I'm able to get through my content so that, that much nicer. Because I've, I've just, like today, I was looking at how much stuff I've got to do. And if I was still doing single reviews, it just wouldn't happen. A lot of reviews would just never happen, which was what, what was happening before. We were getting so much stuff that we just couldn't keep up. A lot of stuff were getting sidelined. At least recently I've been able to say that most of the things are now getting reviewed. Now unlike other versions of this figure, um, we don't have any other... <coughs> any other faces. Normally they give us multiple faces with these figures, but... They must be planning something else with this one. Because they've only given us the one face. So Drift, it says, journey into the unknown and find your way to victory. Also in this series, guys, there's this, there's the Scavenger X Lord, which we're going to look at. There's also Fish Stick, Beef Boss, Galaxy, and Eternal Voyager. Eternal Voyager is a little bit like Ghost Rider, but his head is too low into the into leather. He's got like a leather jacket on, but the head's like all the way sunken down, so the, like, the jacket comes up here. And it just looks odd. It didn't look right. So I properly skip that one. What I like about this figure though, and what I've been told is, although he's wearing the gold jacket, it is actually fully removable. And you can see that it doesn't affect... Oh, that face keeps falling off. It doesn't affect the, the figure itself, the style of the figure. So we can remove this, and then it looks like the one from Jazzwares. Because the... No, sorry, from McFarlane's, because they didn't include the jacket on there, I don't think. Oh god, it's all down there. That's not a good sign if this mask keeps falling off that easily, though. <clears throat> it's not a good start of the video if the mask keeps falling off. It's all okay. It's not like it's broken or anything. It's just incredibly... It's tapping it. A little tap and that's coming off. So, hmm... I suppose it's more of a display figure than a play figure. But yeah, there he is without his mask, so that's pretty cool, the fact that you can remove the mask. We'll look at articulation while I've got the mask off. Uh, can you actually remove this as well? Is this removable? No, that's glued to the back of the head. <clears throat> but the head can look around. Um, it, can, it can look up and down a little bit, but left and right mainly. Arm lift up that top hinge and also rotate there. There's also, ro also rotation at the bicep. There's double hinged elbows on this one as well, which is nice. And hands are on ball joints. You can rotate them around at that abdomen crunch as well as backwards and forwards. No further waist swivel there, but the legs do lift out all the way. With a top thigh cut, double hinged knees, there is a shin cut. And there's also rocket and pivot. And they also have holes in the bottom of the feet, should you wish to use a display base. There's the Kitsune mask, as it's more commonly known. I keep getting correct, correct, corrected when I call it a Kabuki mask. I believe it's called a Kitsune mask, or a Kitsune mask. Which I believe is from, uh, sort of like a style from Japan. But I, I'm going to be putting the gold jacket back on, because this is the true, proper drift ultimate form. 
and it's the skin that I used for years. I've only just stopped using it. If you want to add me on Fortnite, by the way, I do um, I do play the game, and I do also have my own creator code, which I'll put on screen right now for you. It's I am Super Sorrel. So if you want to support the channel, that's a great way of doing so. All you have to do is go into the game store and add my code, so that whenever you buy anything, I get a bit of kickback. Right, it does also come with two of his harvesting tools. The slot together? No, that's a shame. I wish they did. They've got like chains. It would have been cool if they'd have sort of like chained together somehow. So he does have his two pink sort of uh, harvesting tools there. He does also come with this weird little cube. Whatever that's for. And he has a little hole in it. I can't remember what that cube even was. Uh, I remember this drink though. It comes with this cool little drink. If you remember, that was wasn't that like uh, the the storm in a bottle? And he also comes with his assault rifle, a burst rifle, and a sniper. My favourite weapon, the sniper. And he also comes with, which I think is really cool. It is meant to be the back bling, um, but it's a skateboard, which has got the Kitsune mask underneath and his colours. And on the back, on the top, it's just a plain black top canvas with pink wheels. Obviously, he's meant to sit on his back like this. Or you can sort of like angle it if you wanted to. But what I also like is the hole is the same size as the feet. So, what you can do is actually slot. There you go. Actually slot that on his foot to make you stand on the actual skateboard. And if we just bend his legs a little. There you go. He's now using the skateboard. How cool would it be if they ever... Because like, they've given us gliders over the years on Fortnite. So we glide down. Then they've started giving us the umbrellas. How cool would it be if they gave us boards so you could like... Surf down. That would be kick-ass. Fortnite, get onto it immediately. <laughs> so that's cool. What I always like about these figures as well is they do actually have the open and palm hand... Um, to slot guns in, so you'd have to force it in the hand. You can open the hand, put the gun in, put his finger on the trigger thing as it closes. It's a little bit more fiddly, but it's better in the long run. You don't damage your figure. No! Oh, I'm dropping everything on the floor today! If, you watch, if you've watched any of my other videos recently, you'll see that I've dropped other things on the floor recently, and that's these were all filmed on the same day, and I keep dropping everything today. I have butterfingers. So yeah, everything does slot in the hands, as they have that open, open and close palm action. You'll see that up close when we go to the desk cam, guys. You will see what how that looks. Uh, my only issue is with these uh, two double blade things that he's been given as his harvesting tools. There's no way to attach them to his back, like in the game when you pick up a weapon. Uh, usually, the harvesting tool goes to the back. So that's that's drift anyway. We'll take a closer look at drift on the desk cam in a few moments. But for now, let's take a look at that scavenger figure as well. Because he comes with a bunch of accessories. So this is X Lord. On the back of him, it says ransack every dimension. I always like this figure. It's very Mad Max. Mad, Mad Max. So if anyone's a fan of like Mad Max stuff, even if they're not a fan of Fortnite, this could still be a great action figure. Oh, he goes with the crossbow as well. We don't you don't get many crossbows in action figures. A big blue mushroom as well, which gives him the force field. Oh nice! A very nice pistol. It's the big big desert eagle pistol. And then of course another silenced assault rifle. <laughs> I love these packs because all, all these accessories are good to use with other figures. They're all six inch scale or just short of six inch scale. But they work with all your other figures. Like, it's cool to get guns that are like black and grey because Hasbro always gives us guns that are multicoloured. 
you know what I mean? So it's nice to put some of these actual black and grey guns with people like the Punisher. Okay. So here is our x Scavenger. I won't go over articulation again, as it is exactly the same on all the Jazzwares figures. Um, again, there's no unmasked on this one. It is only the masked head. I wish the helmet did come off to reveal the head underneath, but it is what it is. Um, he's got his backpack bling, so we can attach this big studded backpack there. Oh, and that just pushes in. Looks a bit weird, but it's nice nonetheless. I love the fact that he comes with the um, the mushroom and stuff. Can he even hold that? It's too big for him to even hold, so why have they got this? What are you meant to do with it? Ah, uh, okay. There's a hole in it, and you can slot the thumb. That's how they hold it. Okay. So what they do is... You put the thumb inside the little hole, and then basically he holds onto it that way. That's cool. So that'll be the same with some of those other ones we've got over there. Okay. Um, it does come with some very nice weapons as well. Like I said, we've got the big crossbow here with the sights on it and everything. It's got like an under cannon as well. I'm not sure what that is. That's pretty sick. It's a really cool weapon. Close up that hand. Yeah, so you have to you have to open that to put it in. They are a little bit trickier to put the guns in that. I've just dropped that on the floor again. Oh my god! Super Zero! Kill me now. Kill me now. Kill me now. <laughs> oh no, now my chair won't move forward. Bad days! <laughs> I like this gun the most, this is really cool. It looks a bit oversized for him, but it's nice. If this falls out of your hand and onto the floor, I will actually cry. Jazz, where's your gun so... <laughs> uh. I'm now gonna go back and re-edit everything I've just said about these cool hands, because they're not cool, they don't grip anything. Nah. Have they changed since the original lineup? The, these the hands used to be really cool and they used to actually work. Right, that one's actually working. Ha! Nope, no, it's not. No, it's not. Right, I've had enough. <laughs> so that was that one. You'll see him closer on the desk cam. He does come with some really cool like uh, weapons as well. He does have his twin sort of uh, har the har they're called harvesting tools with like chainsaws in this one. And like I said, he did also come with a really cool pistol. Really cool weapons on that one. And then finally, the one that I've been dying to open for a while. This is the Fortnite shopping cart pack. This is McFarlane's. And this comes with a giant shopping cart. Now the reason I've been wanting it is because I can imagine taking some really cool photos with that shopping cart. I have it full of weapons and then I have like dead pushing it. And I imagine it would create a really cool awesome action figure for photography photo. Oh, is it open? Oh, it opens this way. Ooh. Alright, guys. Ooh. Now, these are a little bit bigger in scale. These are the McFarlane's, these are seven inch scale figures. Oh, they got rope dies. One. Two. Oh, it's a proper working job for Dralley. Yes! Look at this, he even got a little seat. <gasps> Could a figure sit in there? A very small <gasps> baby Yoda can sit in there. <laughs> It's a fully working shopping trolley, that's really cool. And we have the two figures. And their weapons. Interestingly, I want to see the scale of the weapons side by side. 
between fart between the McFarlands and Cadillac. Oh my god, get out. I've not even looked at any of these things, huh? So it includes the shopping cart. Ugh, noisy. Includes the shopping cart. We've got Fireworks Team Leader and War Paint is the other figure. So, Fireworks Team Leader is a cool idea. That's obviously based on, obviously we've got Cuddles Team Leader, the pink one, original. And they obviously give, they do give us different styles of the same figure sometimes. Um, as a bit of a, it is, it is a cop out in my opinion when Fortnite do that. But usually they add it to the existing, or sometimes they add it to the existing skin. So like I know when I bought the Army Man figure, to look like the old plastic greed army men. Eventually they added so we could, you could have him in grey and blue and stuff like that and tan coloured. And they added that without paying anything extra. It was just added to the figure as a part of the styles. I'm not sure with the Cuddles Team Leader. I think, I think you've got to buy them all individually. But there she is, Cuddles Team Leader. Or Fireworks Team Leader. No backpacks with these two. Obviously they come with a gun each. And then they come with the shopping trolley. Now the articulation on these are slightly different to what we've had with Jazzwares. Um, God, this guy looks very elongated. He looks really tall. Look at the size of that torso. So the articulation on them, so the head is on a ball joint, so you can make it look up and down. Arms lift up at that top hinge, and there's also a bit of a spider hinge, sorry, the... Um... Yeah, that hinge. <laughs> you can make the arm lift up as well as backwards and forwards as well a little bit there. It's like the Spider-Man hinges, and also you've got the um, the bicep rotation as well as a double hinged elbow, which does bend in completely flat upon itself, which is awesome. And the hands are on ball joints as well. You can crunch her around at the waist, um, as well as the legs do lift out all the way. It's a Jazzwares figure, so they do pop off if you do get too close to that end bit. Any look, you'll be able to get it back on. Is that something to be kept. Oh no. Something to be wary of with Jazzwares, they do pop off very easily, as you just saw. There we go. Um, so that can happen. Legs do lift forward. With the double hinged knee on there as well, which does go flat, like I said as well. And the feet do rotate, they're on ball joints. You can actually see the ball there. And the feet also have the toe articulation as well. Which looks stupid, but when you're actually getting them in a crouch position, um, you know, for, for war and stuff, if you're putting that in like that, gives it a more of a flat surface to balance the figures especially when you want to get them in a sniper style pose like this it really helps having that toe articulation so as much as a lot of reviewers say how daft it looks it works for posing um, usually it doesn't because obviously it doesn't look of natural or in, in any way shape or form so I usually cover that up with something if I'm going to do actual figure photography I'll put them in the pose doing it but then I'll like put something near the foot to hide it so the guns actually, we've got two of the same gun here, so we'll use those for comparison purposes. Uh, we've got two of more or less the same gun here. They are more or less the same. The Jazzwares one's even slightly bigger. So you could you could actually very easily put the Jazzwares guns. Yeah, look at that. The Jazzwares guns scale and work with the McFarlane's. And vice versa, this is the shotgun from the McFarlane's. We can slot that in the hand of X Lord here if he wants to hold on to it. Do you want to grab it, please, dude? Do you want to just get your hand to close on it for once for me? Do you want to just do that and be an awesome little figure? Or do you want to mess me about all day long? You want to mess me about? You're a bad little figure. Nope. <laughs> But yeah, basically you could use either of these guns with them with the McFarlane figures. Sorry, with, with either figure, and it wouldn't make much difference. They're both scaled exactly the same, more or less. Can we give that a go again. There we go. So there's the there's the jazz the the jazzwares holding the McFarlanes. So another great thing is we we got the trolley. And it's actually got the fully working seat that can close back on itself. But the best thing I want to do with this, let's get all the parts. 
let's get all the accessories from today. And let's make the weirdest looking trolley on the planet. There we go guys, a full armoury trolley. The trolley scale itself is pretty tricky because it would look daft with the 5 inch figures. I'll show you that on desk cam in a moment. It does look a little bit big for the 5 inch figures, it looks like a child pushing it. But obviously with these 7 inch figures it looks great. So, might look weird with the Marvel Legends Deadpool, but it's Deadpool, isn't it? <clears throat> Ooh, Amazon deliver. So, yeah, sorry about that. Let's go on down to the desk cam where you guys can take a closer look at all these action figures together and we'll see them side by side. That leg keeps coming off that figure. Oh no, broken. <laughs> yeah, we'll take a closer look at these figures all together, guys. See you on the desk cam. Come on, Beaker, we have to get these these awesome weapons to the new G.I. Joe team. They're waiting to be sent on a mission. I highly doubt that's drugs. It really does look like a force field mushroom brought to us from the people of Fortnite. You think they have problems? We're the ones that are talking to a pig and a frog. Yeah, maybe you're right. Let's take it with us anyway. We could always have some psychedelic fun later. So here they all are outside of the packaging. First of all, I want to show you the scaling. So these don't scale together at all. As you can see, the patriotic team leader there. <laughs> um, off I always team leader. Because they were, I believe she was the, the 4th of July skin. That's why I call her that. Um is standing at seven inches and the new Jazzwares ones stand at about five three quarter they're not quite six um, so they don't scale together very well but they don't look overly bad when I've got these two like this and he's stood behind the Jazzwares figure it looks fine you know not everybody in this world is the same height so I, I don't I don't mind them stood side by side in real life there would be a foot of difference between people so that inch of scale is fine by me um, you know, as well, people always say, you know, oh, these these figures aren't meant to go together. They're the different, you know, manufacturers or whatever. Don't let any, don't let anybody dictate to you your you know your playtime, your toy box, your collection. If you want to put Jazzwares with McFarlane's, put Jazzwares with McFarlane's. If you want to have Batman vs Superman on your shelf, or even better, have Spider Man vs Batman on your shelf, or the Punisher vs Deathstroke, do it. If you want Yoda, Baby Yoda. And Sam from Trick or Treat to all be from the same universe. Do it. Put them on the shelf together, guys. It's your playtime. It's your toy box. I just have to get that off my chest because a lot of people in the comments, I do see comments from time to time that say like, ah, you shouldn't put those figures together. It's my playtime. If I want to play that way, that's how I'm going to play. <laughs> There's no right and wrong in make-believe. <laughs> but either way, that new Drift figure, it definitely lived up to the hype. I love it. I love the fact these are skateboard as well. That's just such a cool concept. And the fact that you can put it on his feet as well is awesome. I can't wait to take some more action figure photography with these guys. So stay tuned for that. As well, I've got the other guy behind there, as you can see. And again, those guns are pretty decent. They do scale with both style of figures. And like I said, they are good for usage with other figure lines as well. We've now got G.I. Joe and stuff. So we are going to get some even better at, you know, guns and stuff. So all the accessories, I always swap and interchange them with other figures. So it's always fun. And then, of course, another favorite in this line is obviously the X-Lord Scavenger. Very Mad Mask. Mad, oh, I keep saying Mad Mask. Mad Max <laughs> inspired there. And I love it. I have put the game on as well in the background because I do play Fortnite, guys. If you want to see, if you want to add me, please do. My this my um, Epic account has been on the screen. I am on Xbox One under the name Super Sorrel. <coughs> so please do look me up at Super Sorrel, and you'll see me. Hey, what do you know? Drift. Um, and if we just go, oh, there we go. That's me. So. Make sure you give us an ad, guys. And once again, that Fortnite code was I am super sorry if you want to support the channel. Alright, guys, let's go back to the main cam and finish off this video. 
So guys, what was your favourite out of all those Fortnite figures? For me, definitely Drift is my personal fan favourite. Um, but if I had to choose a second favourite out of them, I'm going to stick with the Jazzwares this time. I'm going to say X-Lord Scavenger is definitely my second up there. These are two of the newest figures out at the moment. The other set has been out for quite some time, um, but it is available on Amazon. These two were available from Smith's, if you want to grab them from there. I've also seen them available here in the UK from Argos. Um, that's another great place to grab them. So guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel, and I'll see you on the battlefield of Fortnite or in the next video. May the Force be with you.